Hey everyone, Chris Rubist here, and today we have a short video quickly covering the new update that released yesterday, December 8th. This update is 0.9.7.48, or 7.48 for short. This update is a series of bug fixes and minor changes to continue to complement the recent release of update 0.9.7. So let's just get right into this. <laughs> To start off, Comet Ops received a minor change of the custom arsenal being added in. This will let players save a loadout and then spawn with it. This should help players be able to play with the weapons they so desire to play with in Comet Ops and all around is just a nice quality of life improvement for the mode. Next we have some changes to explosions. First, explosions are now focused against the center of mass, not the origin. I'm not entirely sure what this means, but I assume it will mean they will be better performing in combat. On this vein, explosions will now be properly blocked by walls and have their damage computation tweaked slightly. Next up in more general things, the 2D map has received a tweak that makes it look far better, which I will now show. Aside from that, there is a large series of bug fixes, which I will now list. They fixed swapping AI movement components if the controlled entity is a player. They fixed gamepad usage of gadget map, which would prevent get out action. And they fixed the scenario framework, had this weird task modification pop-up duplication when someone would assign or unassign a task. They fixed a missing penalty component to combat ops. They fixed a weapon being unequipable after being slung and then moved into the inventory to a different slot. Basically meaning you won't have a random situation where you can't equip the gun after picking it up. They fixed one of the scenario parts of a delivering intel glitch, which would cause something of an exfil task to appear. They fixed the game slowing down, which would occur when you would shoot into bodies of water. And they really also fixed the incorrect behavior of water impact particles, meaning you can now shoot water in puddles without the entire game going haywire. They fixed the script error when entering a turret compartment with an empty weapon shot. So now that won't happen. Um, in conflict, they fixed wrong assets being spawned around relay towers, and they worked on improving weaning as there is a fix as weaning was not being replicated properly. Aside from that, they also did a series of crash fixes, so you should be crashing a whole lot less, which is definitely nice to see. They also did a series of blender tool changes, but I don't really know how blender works, so I can't really cover those. All in all, these changes should make the game run a lot smoother, and make the new features with 0.9.7 all around more solid in their implementation. Hopefully this new update runs well for y'all and y'all enjoy it, but until next time, this has been Christopher Beast, and, well, ciao.